Welcome to Nanotechnology 2022. I'm Chris Kavnopoulos from Nanotechnology Lab LTFN and I will try to give you some nice insights about uh, our printed OPV technologies. Uh, so first of all, we are here we'll, to give you some uh, examples. These are some printed OPV uh, cells that are fully flexible. They are semi-transparent, so uh, you can see me from inside and they have the ability to, uh, to produce power even with low light condition and for indoor and outdoor applications. So we can uh, use uh, for different kinds of applications. Uh, here is a, a demo that uh, for some sailing uh, boats uh, you can use it on uh, to have some power. Uh, it is completely uh, transparent, so it's also very nice. So these are some small scale uh, demos, but of course we can go to even bigger scale. We have uh, panels uh, big, big like this. And uh, actually to, be, uh, to give you also some more information, all of these are printed in our uh, 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 <coughs> high-end uh, technology roll-to-roll uh, -roll pilot line, which is uh, in, the, our, in our lab with several printing technologies, uh, some inline uh, of the fly laser scribing uh, uh, for the modules, for making these kind of modules, uh, several quality, co quality control techniques to ensure the quality of the results, and you have the ability to do different kinds of things, like uh, different kinds of shapes, uh, different kinds of type of modules, uh, and uh, according to uh, the final application uh, and uh, the needs of the customer. Customers. If I want to have this in my house, for example, you would have to encapsulate it with This is already encapsulated. Plastic. Is this, this all ready to put in the house? Yes, yes, it's just ready. You just open two contacts on the both ends, you put some wires there, like it is here. You put just two, these two wires and then it's, it's ready to, to be done. And what's the efficiency uh, and the moment, class? Uh, at the moment, the basic class is that you have it's uh, around 6.5% uh, for this kind of uh, fully printed uh, uh, semi-transparent uh, organic photovoltaic modules. Is it possible to do in mass production? Yes, of course, uh, with this uh, machine have, we are able to do uh, to print with uh, up to 5 meters per minute. That means that we can have uh, around about uh, 2 square meters per minute uh, produced by, uh, by the line. Nice. And uh, do you have uh, deployments? Do you have uh, uh, prototypes around Greece? Or do you have yes, there are more? several prototypes. There are some uh, bus stations uh, around. Uh, yeah. uh, also, uh, I can show you from this side, uh, we have different kinds of applications, uh, especially our uh, spin-out company OET, uh, have several prototypes in, uh, for bus station, for car uh, carports in order to, to print uh, the elect electric vehicles and uh, several other things uh, coming up. What do we see here? So uh, here it's uh, some just a, a very uh, rough demo of uh, a solar protection for the cars. So you can put it uh, on the summer to protect your car for uh, uh, heating up and then in the same time you can power a small fan in order to cool it as it is uh, parked uh, uh, during summer. So here in Greece we have a lot of summer so we have to, to use of it. Alright, and uh, do you have a whole bunch more stuff here at the booth? So yes, uh, let me try to introduce you my colleagues uh, Stelios. Uh, Stelios is going with some quite different things Hi. about printing uh, biotechnology. So Stelios. Welcome to Thessaloniki from my side too. My name is Terios Dermanoudis. Uh, I work in the bio group of, the, uh, of our lab and we are work working on 3D bioprinting, as you can see here. Uh, using this 3D bioprinter, this is just a model of uh, a nose uh, uh, using a hydrogel printing right now. Uh, we are trying to 3D bioprint some constructs uh, that we can use for basic research uh, to uh, emulate some organs, possibly. And also we work on drug delivery systems, uh, meaning that we try to synthesize some uh, nanoparticles with embedded uh, drugs inside that will be eluted in a very controlled and targeted way. Did you get a lot of uh, advancements in the last couple of years? Uh, yes, we tried to make some uh, vascularization uh, for the constructs that we make because a big issue with 3D bioprinted constructs is the uh, ability to provide nutrients and remove all the uh, waste. So this is done by uh, vessels. Uh, so we had a lot of progress in, uh, in the 
in the effort to vascularize some of these contracts. Also, we are building some bioreactors right now, where we can uh, uh, that we can use to further stimulate the bioprinted constructs with some mechanical stimulation. And uh, like the printer we see here, mm -hmm. is it this kind of application is something that can become big mass production? Uh, there are two directions. One is uh, getting bigger, one is getting smaller to match the in vivo tissue. Because the in vivo tissue has a lot of features in uh, micro, nanoscale, and we are trying to uh, reach this level of complexity. Uh, but when you are using equipment to reach this level of uh, complexity, it's a <coughs> difficult thing to build bigger. So we have to combine these two directions to build in higher resolution at the same time, but also big enough uh, constructs to create organs. Uh, last time we filmed 2019, yeah. there was at the lab yeah, at the exactly. university. Exactly. And uh, what's been the developments there? More and more students working on this? Yeah, yeah, more students, more PhD students, more uh, master students. Uh, also working on the, the directions I've mentioned earlier. All right. Uh, what else we can look around here? Uh, for the bio group, is, is this all demo only? Uh, the main focus of the lab is the, the printed uh, organic electronics. Yeah. Uh, so this is a small demo for the bio group, for the lab. All right. All right. And uh, let's walk around here. Is this your, your friend talking about this part? Hey, uh, probably. Right here. Uh, this is uh, LVPD. Yeah, this is not the expert from that. Uh, maybe Christos can talk. Christos? Yeah. Yeah, maybe Christos can talk about that also, yeah. because it's yeah. uh, organic electronics, but printed in another way, yeah. with other technologies. Yeah, all right, so... It's... There are a lot of projects that uh, run in the... Uh, all right. In the lab. Yeah. So, for example, right there and there. Mm -hmm. There are some... Uh, yeah. Photo yeah. What are you showing here? Yeah, these are some uh, a completely different technology. This is a hybrid technology called uh, organic vapor phase deposition. Uh, this is made uh, in order to make uh, OLEDs in a very high uh, quality of OLEDs. Uh, most of them are in our cell phones. Uh, here are some layers made by them, and we can show here some. Uh, some or those organic photovoltaics made by the same technology uh, on a rigid substrate, on a glass substrate. And thus, uh, this has much more uh, efficiency and it's uh, made to be for more uh, power and demand applications, or for space applications or something like that. Space? Yes. All right. So, uh, so what's the connection between uh, photovoltaics, OLED? Same process somehow you can make things yes you can make them with the same printing processes either with uh, the, the big roll to roll pilot line or with the OVPD pilot line and so you can compare both results uh, and uh, to have two different kind of uh, application one which is much cheaper and the mass product more close to mass production in order to have uh, cheaper uh, OPVs and the other one it's more expensive it's uh, the OVPD technology but give us some much better results at much higher uh, uh, quality products nice and you have uh, lots of discussions here with people at the show? Yeah, for sure, this is a very nice event. Uh, so it's uh, uh, after COVID, uh, uh, after the COVID uh, situation, here we can start coming uh, live again. Uh, and uh, this year we have more than 500 uh, people. So it's uh, a very nice opportunity to, to, to meet each other and uh, to discuss after a long uh, time uh, again. And here it says national projects. Yes, we have several, also okay. several national projects, especially for uh, agrovoltaics. So we are able to put a uh, 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 project called Photokipia. We put some uh, photovoltaics on top of the uh, uh, greenhouses, the Mediterranean greenhouses, in order not only to harvest energy, energy and uh, to have some uh, uh, power uh, independent uh, greenhouses, but also to save the corpse and to absorb some uh, part of the uh, uh, solar uh, spectrum and uh, to improve the efficiency of the corpse and uh, uh, to uh, have even better, more uh, production. All right, and the so, Apollon project? 
Okay, the Apollo project is based on printed OLEDs. It's the one that that's there. So we have, have the ability also not only to print the photovoltaics, but also to print some OLEDs for uh, some lighting applications for wearables and uh, for signaling or for other kind of applications. All right. Uh, it gets really exciting once you know, technology can become mass production, when yes. it can be uh, change the world. Yes, exactly. This is uh, one uh, world changing technology that uh, uh, sooner or later will be uh, to everybody's house. So these are some very nice applications that can be start off. So can be with uh, some small application or completely, for example, for BIP, BIPV applications or building integrated photovoltaics. So we can cover our uh, solar window, windows to be solar windows in order to improve also the efficiency and also to reduce the heating uh, needs from uh, and cooling needs uh, in our houses. So this is something that for sure we will see in uh, the very, very few uh, uh, years.